back inside the studio now as we discuss our total softball player of the year race in which you can weigh in on who you think should be the 2016 high school softball player of the year. Now this young lady currently sits in the top 10 in five categories in the MHSAA record book. She's currently leading our race by several thousand votes. You saw her team earlier in the show. I want to welcome in Farmington Hills Mercy's Abby Griswicki. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. All right. It's great to have you here. Let's talk about your team first, okay? The Catholic League, we know, is one of the toughest in the state. Regina won the league title and the Division I state title a year ago. You guys lost a tough one in the state semis a year ago. Talk about this year's team and if you guys have the pieces to make a run. Yeah, I think this year we have a lot of good communication skills. So I think that we have really good leaders. We have our three seniors as our captains. All of us play a role in our 18 people on the team. So we have a good way to communicate and to follow rules so we know what we're doing. And we have our eight returners from last year. So we picked up one girl in the field and right now we're just meshing and learning how to have each other's back. So I think it's going to be great. Farmington Hills Mercy's Abby Krizwicki is our guest currently leading the voting in our softball player of the year race. You've decided to take your talent to South Alabama. So talk about the tradition down there and why it was the right fit for you. I think for me, well, I went on a visit there when I was in eighth grade because they saw me when I was about 13, 14. So it was my first visit down there and I absolutely loved it. I can't say more positive words about it. I love the coaches, the atmosphere, the weather, obviously. They're extremely good at what they do and they produce very good human beings and not just softball players. Finally, talk about the time that you put in to develop your game, the sacrifice you make year round to improve your game. For me, I don't have the normal summer, so I'm traveling state to state, tournament to tournament with my team. So I'm Working on my skills each day, I hit a bucket of balls in my basement every day. I have a batting cage in there and I have my dad pitch to me. And when I was younger, I would pitch every day because I used to be a pitcher. But now I kind of focus more on my athletic skills more than my fundamental skills. So I'm working on working out, eating healthier, my agility, my speed, things like that. I've taken sacrifices with my social life, but it's come out to be the best thing for me because this is what I want to do and I want to play softball and I want to take that as my job in college. So it all worked out for the best. See kids, sacrifice. It can pay off. I'd like to make mention that Abby's also a finalist for the Detroit Athletic Club's Female High School Athlete of the Year. She was also recently named a finalist for the Catholic League's Female Athlete of the Year. Congratulations and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank All right, you. go to statechampsnetwork.com to vote for your favorite candidate right now.